Welcome to the Blockchain Report. We discuss all things blockchain technology, digital assets, DeFi, NFTs, and much more. Today's video, we're diving into part two of the new and trending ecosystems campaign on layer three. This campaign just started on August 1st and goes until October 10th. So about two months and some change. And you have a bunch of different projects that they are covering. And in part one, we did Karak, Zora, Hyperliquid, Morpho, Citria, and BitLayer. And today we will cover Kintsu, Ambient Finance, SyncSwap, Hyperlane, Morph, and Zerkit. A couple of these are test nets, so easy to uh, join, but these other ones, you'll need um, a little bit of funds. But before we actually get started, thank you so much for joining. Please like, subscribe, comment, share this out to anyone you think would be interested in blockchain technology, all the fun stuff we get to learn, and cool rewards we earn along the way. Like these cubes, we're still getting rewards for staking on layer three. A lot of cool stuff that they are rewarding users in unique ways. So get in here and you know explore what layer three has to offer now that their token has launched and they're trying to find a lot of ways to incentivize users to keep using their project and you know it's it's a great it's a great thing it's really cool and unique and not many not really any other project is doing something like this but uh, if you do have any questions comments need any help <clears throat> navigating any of these quests or campaigns please jump in the discord link is in the description below get in there connect with us and or me and other amazing people in the community we can help answer any questions you may have or point you in the right direction if we don't have the answer we'll figure it out one way or another but i appreciate you all so much and to those of you who are new welcome and we will get going. So Kintsu is up first. So Kintsu boosts proof of stake blockchains by allowing participation in on-chain activities while earning staking rewards. It provides liquidity and accessibility, overcoming traditional staking limitations. Inspired by Kintsugi, Kintsu repairs fractured liquidity. Users can earn staking yield and participate in DeFi without locking their tokens. So claims T0 with Aleph's faucet, Aleph zero. So you need a sub wallet. Looks like you need a sub wallet. So I don't have a sub wallet. So you can download the sub wallet there. Now I may need to go into my profile and remove a wallet. So sub wallet is a polka dot wallet. Yeah, it looks like I'll need to remove a wallet. I'll remove this one. Okay, so we'll add our sub wallet. Where is it at? Oh, right here. I'm gonna create a new account and then do all the, so I'm typing in my password and Okay, I am, since this is just for testnet, I'm saving information. Okay, now that we have our sub wallet, so download this sub wallet and, oh, okay. So now I need to figure out the testnet address because, oh, Aleph, there we go. Aleph zero testnet. So now where do we go? Right here, Aleph zero testnet. No, so where is, I need T zero. Where is T zero? Manage tokens. T zero. Okay. T zero. Count details. Oh, get address. Okay. So that looks like our testnet wallet address. So we could have just gone here and the EVM account. We'll just verify that, make it rain. So we got our 25,001 T zeros, and then we will stake on Kintsu. We got our faucet, sorry that took so long. Okay, our sub wallet, no, we need to connect. Um, cancel, we need our EVM wallet. Oh, see, we can connect to Talisman. Get out of here. Okay. Oh, well, I guess. But we don't have anything in there. So let's go back to the testnet and or the the testnet faucet and we're going to go and copy this other one and see if this works. This thing is annoying. Okay. Now, yep, we got it. So, do about 500 T0. We'll swap it on there. There you go. It doesn't look like this takes the EVM account, so you have to just request the faucet for both addresses. There we go, which we've done, and there you go. Claim, stake, mint your cube, and it is a testnet quest, so that's pretty cool, but you still have to pay for the cube. Okay, boom, next up. Now, oh, I'll do I'll do one more testnet one before we go to the, the main net. So Morph is redefining the Ethereum scaling experience by merging optimistic rollups and ZK technology with its decentralized sequencer and layer two innovations for enhanced daily blockchain use. So get funds on Morph Haleski, so you can do any of these options. Uh, looks like that's a quick node and Haleski faucet or Stakely. You can get funds from Haleski and put in your ETH address, start mining, and that's how you get testnet tokens. Um, let's see here. Go ahead and do all these little steps. Verify that you are human. 
you go. All that fun stuff. I'm not going to do that because I have Haleski ETH and you'll verify. So bridge from Haleski to the Morph testnet. We'll connect our wallet first. Let's turn this dark. Rabby, boom, connect it. Oh, I guess I don't have any Haleski. That's okay. What we'll do is I'm going to send it from another wallet. But what I'll do is go to send Ethereum custom networks, Haleski, and I will send this to blockchain report. And then I will have 0.5 Ethereum or half an ETH. There we go. So I will bridge. So it says that I don't have enough ETH, but it says that I have enough ETH. <laughs> okay. Well, once we figure this, okay, I'm gonna do point 0.1. We'll just bridge over point 0.1. Boom, boom, boom. Nope, doesn't look like it's working. So keep trying and you can bridge and then verify this. I'm gonna close out of that. Make sure you mint your cubes. Let's go. All right, on to the main net. So swap on ambient finance on scroll network. And also we can knock this one out too, since it's on the scroll network as well. Um, or you can do uh, ZK sync or Linea, but we're gonna do the scroll network since we're already right here. So we're gonna swap on ambient and then sync swap. Connect your Rabby, make sure you're on the scroll network. We're gonna swap a little bit of, where is it at? Is that the wrap staked ETH, I think? Yeah, kelp DAO, oh, we'll hold on to that actually. So we're just gonna do about 20 cents. 25 cents that's about um you can you can do lower than that it doesn't have a token minimum requirement so that's good i'm glad they got rid of most of that because they it's just a lot better because a lot of people you know it gives them more access to these quests if you don't have a minimum requirement so boom boom swap to scroll or switch to scroll to mint your cube we'll go here to sync swap do the same thing we're going to swap back into that usdc but first connect your wallet koneg and then we're just going to swap back into the ethereums that way it's just easy back and forth back and forth swap it like it's hot and then swap and you can confirm this now, since we've done that, we can come back here and don't forget to do your daily transaction on scroll and click that and Linea as well. So there, we can close out of that. Mint your cube, ambient, done, sync swap, done. Boy, we just running through these. We just running through them. Boom, boom. So next up, Hyperlane. Explore interoperable blockchain apps with modular cross-chain communication on Hyperlane. We've done a few videos on Hyperlane in the past, as well as how to bridge using Hyperlane. If you want to check those out in previous videos, especially now that the market's down a little bit, the TIA, Celestia, the TIA token would be a good one to keep an eye out for. So boom. And next we will stake or deposit on Zerkit. So Zerkit is a modular ZK rollup with AI enabled security at the sequencer level. So make any deposit on Zerkit to accumulate points. So previous deposits also count. And I thought I've made a previous deposit on Zerkit, but I guess not. So we'll connect our wallet. <clears throat> I haven't done a whole lot on Zerkit just because it's, I don't have a lot of stuff that's staked and locked up like that. I have a little bit, but okay. We have some wrapped ether phi. I'm just going to deposit some Ethereum. This is okay on the Ethereum network. Let me make sure because I think it's only on the Ethereum network. Yeah. So it looks like it is on the Ethereum network. So gas fees looking like it's $3 just to stake a little bit of ETH, but that's okay. I'm, I'll, I'll do it for the video. Yeah. 250. And right now, well, ether scan. Let's see what the GUI is looking like. 11. Okay, it's up pretty high today. Well, considering. So we'll verify. So you want to get it when the GUI is like in the single digits. And then we're going to mint on the Optimism Network, this cube. And we will be done with today's video. So there we go. Bada bing, bada boom. If you don't want to do the Zerkit one, you don't, don't feel obligated to. But I got to get my points and my cube. So Zerkit, there we go. We got a lot done today. So I appreciate you all sticking through it and getting these cubes, getting these rewards because we trying to we trying to level up. We got, man, it's going to be a, got five, four and a half more to go almost to 60. So we going we gonna to hit this. We're going to hit this. Let's go. So if you do need any help, remember, jump in the Discord. I know I haven't done many Layer 3 videos in a while, but we got a lot of stuff to crank out on that end. So stay tuned and, yeah, get excited. But with that, this is the Blockchain Report. Have a wonderful day, homies. Peace.